Hello guys, my name is Eric Patterson. Welcome to DevOps Learning. Today we'll show you how to manage credential in Jenkins. In Jenkins, there are two, there are, there are many types of credential and you have to know the type of credential that you want to manage. So it depends on the use case, for example, but to manage credential in Jenkins, um, you click here. Always, if you want to go to the Jenkins dashboard or what is also called the Jenkins home, you will have to click here. Then you go to manage Jenkins. Then for manage Jenkins, you go to credential. This is where we store all credential in Jenkins here. And then you go to system here, not these two at the bottom, the store scope system to the store scope to sit to Jenkins. Then you take the global credential here. Then these are the two credentials that I have so far. So there are multiple type of credential. For example, let's start with the scenario where we want to add a credential. If we go here to add credential and the kind, all right, there are multiple type of credential. For example, we have here username with password. We have GitHub app, we have SSH. So depending on the use case, you will pick one. If you want, for example, to add a username and password, then I will put, for example, my username. I can put DevOps, for example, as a username and then as a password, I can type something. Then I just have to give him an ID Let's say, let's say, uh, let's call this one uh, data dog access, right? And it has to be, I can say data dot access. And for example, for the description, I'll go ahead and put the same thing and then I will create. As soon as I create a credential, you'll be able to see that credential here. I can create another type of credential that probably um, we can, it can be, for example, um, a secret file. Right, which you basically just have to upload a file, or you can create another type of credential called a secret text, which is the same thing. You just have to put a secret text here. We use this a lot, for example, when we want to like store a, a token in, in Jenkins, like API tokens, like to access stuff like Slack, Datadog, Sonar Cube. Uh, we can we can put that here. So there are multiple type of multiple type of credential. For example, that you can delete the credential, you can manage that. If you look at this uh, uh, range, if you click here, it will give you a few options. So you can either update the credential. One thing in Jenkins that as soon as you put the password in Jenkins, you cannot see it. You can change the password, but you won't be able to, to see it. So here you can delete that credential. We can even move that credential if you want. So if you want to manage the credentials easy, you just have to go to dashboard, manage Jenkins. You go to credential, you go to system here. Then you open the global credential, then you'll be able to add any credential uh, that you want here. I hope this video was really useful for you and see you in the next video. Thank you.